Hello there. Now this is a very quick video about Doom. Now pay attention here. You see that? That's Doom Operating System version 1.2. This is an early release of Doom. In fact, this came out on the 16th of February 1994. But any version before 1.4 will be fine for this demonstration. Because, let me just deal with this guy. Because you see, prior to version 1.4, Doom had a hidden, well, kind of hidden, swastika in map 4 of episode number 1. And this, according to John Romero, was a homage to Wolfenstein 3D, but it was taken out due to um, people kicking off and because the game couldn't be sold in Germany because of this. So if we go to level 4 um, using the level cheat which is IDCLEV14, here we go, let's put god mode on and let's put no clip on, so what's that, IDSPISPOPD. Okay, and get the map up, IDDT. And if we navigate through these walls, no oh, blissful walking through the walls one day. Oh, not over there. You can see clearly there is a swastika. There it is. Let's just go in this room. Uh, let's take out these grisly, grisly creatures. Let's get some weapons, which is IDKFA. As we, oh, I've clipped through the wall. Take these guys down. It's also. When you've got no clip on, it's you, it's interesting because you can see how it's all on the same plane, but made to appear so it's on different levels. That's why he just kind of walked through. And that's obviously why we have no rooms above rooms. Okay, if I take no clip off, so I D S P I S P O P D, and trigger the switch for this thing, kill these beasts. Yeah, Grizzly, take some of that. You take some of that, and there we have. The symbol of Nazi Germany. And before that, it's a symbol of peace, isn't it? To do with uh, a Eastern religion it was uh, formerly known as. Which is that's what it was associated with before it got taken over by old Adolf. Now, 1.4 was like a beta internet version. Uh, they were all kind of beta versions of Doom up until 1.666, Sign of the Devil. I had 1.4. 2 was my version I had in the mid 90s and when I moved to 1.4 everything seemed to slow down and I think that's because they were testing an early version of the Doom 2 engine which is very similar but had some tweaks um, and there were many bugs being changed like 1.2 fixed bugs from 1.1 but had broken PS2 mouse support 1.1 which was released on the 15th of December 93 so very swiftly after the first release on the 10th of December Fixed lots of crashing, but the 5th and 6th save game slots did not work. So it's all very interesting. But I just wanted to show you this symbolism here, because uh, I'm making a video at the moment and this bit is appearing in it. And for those of you who didn't know, there we have it. Let's look at it on the map again. There we go. Actually, I will show you what it's like in version 1.4 so you can see the difference. Okay, this is the Ultimate Doom, but it will do. It's the same sort of thing. Ultimate Doom is version 1.9, I think. It's the last version of it. So, IDDQD, IDCLEV14, IDSPISPOPD, no clipping mode on, IDDT, we need to go up here. Hello, mate. Hello. Yes, good to see you, as always. And there we go. Look, we can see that the Svastika has gone, and it's replaced by... Oh no! Oh no! Damn it, I'm dead! Did I not put invulnerability on? No, I didn't, did I? We'll do that again. Just so we can see it being moved down. There we go, it looks like a Vava. You, you can still see it's kind of got the structure of how it was, but... Not any longer. Excuse me, mate. I'm a bit busy here. There we go. Well, that is the non sticker version 
of the control room on E1 M4. And that's what this room is called. It's called the control room. Anyway, I think we're done now. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.